Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back for part two. Day six, we're going to jump right in and start out with our Lumalite Translucent Ocean Blue with a couple of drops of the Black Bombay India ink. And that is just to give it that darker shade of blue that looks more like the deeper water out there in the ocean. The next color will be turquoise, followed by teal, then aqua. I will leave a link in the description of everything used in this video. I have really come to love these Bombay India inks because they are very translucent and when you're doing these ocean pieces you really want to keep each layer translucent that way when it cures you can see all the previous layers underneath the top layer and that is what really adds to the depth and the dimension of ocean pieces. And here you just see me blending all the colors together with my hands. I really wasn't that happy with the way my waves were looking on the previous day. So here I'm trying to cover them up and then I am going to attempt to do my waves again here shortly. It just looks like I know what I'm doing and really I am just trying to learn how to use resin just like a lot of other people and by the time this video reaches the end you will see that I completely and totally destroyed and annihilated this piece. You're going to say what on earth did she just do? Why did she just do that? why is she continuing to still do that believe me i was asking myself the same questions along with how am i going to fix this or am i going to just throw this in the garbage obviously i didn't throw it in the garbage i didn't give up if you see the clock on my thumbnail you see the finished product so i'm going to show you what you can do if you mess one of your pieces up by burning your resin or using the wrong colors or not liking your waves and you want to cover them up i'm going to try my best to show you all of those things that i've learned it would have been very easy for me to have just cut out the very end of this video and pretend like that never happened but i am choosing to show y'all every single thing that I go through that I deal with that I've done that I've got to fix because that's the reality and the truth of this people probably cram 5 10 15 days of work into a 15 20 minute video and that's just not the reality of this the reality is that this takes longer than just a day to complete and this clock did take me a lot longer than it probably should have but I did keep messing up and then I would have to go in and fix it and then I would have to let it cure for another 24 hours and so on and so on so that is why I've divided this into four parts because otherwise it would have been a super long video and I don't think anybody wants to sit here and watch a two-hour how-to video
here you see me just uh, attempting my waves again. I am struggling with waves. I laid my clear resin down and then I put my white casting craft on top of the clear and then I blew it out. I just laid down more clear and white casting craft and I'm just making a lot of waves here as you can see because I keep trying to make it look better so for some reason I think if I add more it'll just make it look better but that's really not the case I'm still trying to uh, make cells and lacing and that's just not happening for me either I'm bringing you in for a close-up so you can kind of see what they're looking like and I'm pointing to this area where I really don't like at all I'm pretty happy with the way the dark looks and the different shades but the waves nope and here I go starting to blow out the waves more and I am really risking burning my resin at this point back tomorrow okay let's try to fix these waves I'm not going to use the dark I'm really going to use the light colors I know you probably can't see this but there's like a little drop off which is pretty close to what happens at the beach. So I want to try to make the waves look like they are flowing over this ledge. So let's see what we can do. This is the day where things start to get very, very interesting, I promise you. So stick around, you don't want to miss this. definitely wanted to try to fix my waves it was just too much going on there at the shoreline I didn't like that I am keeping with the translucent colors the same colors that I used yesterday but I will soon realize that I definitely need something with more color to it the translucent is obviously not going to cover up these waves and I also thought I would try a palette knife to blend my colors together uh, so I could save on my gloves, but that didn't work out too well either.
time for my trusty Lumilite translucent ocean blue. And I'm not trying to cover up my waves 100% because it is perfectly okay for it to show underneath your other layers that you're going to put on top of it because it will add again to the depth and the dimension of it all. You just see me using my heat gun to heat the resin up and help blend all the colors together. Yes, I am well on my way to burning my resin. I am trying desperately to just make this look okay, even a little bit okay. And what I should have done right here is just stopped, put my heat gun down and covered it up, let it cure overnight and just start over tomorrow and try to make it look better instead of doing this. And here I am just adding fuel to the fire. I should have stopped, like I said, and just let it cure overnight and try again tomorrow. I also thought that I would try my waves differently by putting the white down first and then putting the clear resin on top of the white to see if that made any kind of difference.
The last 10 minutes of this video is really hard to watch. I promise you, I have come a long way since I have done this clock to where I am now. Knowing when to stop is very important when you're doing resin. You have the clock going against you when you're working with it. Therefore, if things aren't going well, you start to panic and you start to get stressed out. So just call it, stop what you're doing, put it down, cover it up, pull yourself together and come back tomorrow and start over. At this point, I am just making matters worse, so just stop, just put it down, let it go. I took the nozzle off the one that is for more concentrated heat. Thought maybe that would make my waves look better. Uh, it didn't. Not in this circumstance. I don't think anything would have helped in this circumstance. I don't know what all the different attachments are called for the heat gun, but at this point I'm just trying all of them. And obviously nothing I do is going to make this look better right now. I'm just kind of laughing to myself right now. Let's just keep going with it.
I probably could have cut a lot of this out, but I want you to see what I did. That way, if something like this ever happens to you, which it probably won't, but it might, I want you to know how to fix it and know that you can come back from a gigantic mess that looks like this. You can definitely come back. So don't throw it away and don't give up. I am really starting to burn my resin here. If you look closely, the resin is barely moving and that's a good indication that you're fixing to have a giant mess on your hands. And I poured clear resin down right here because I thought for some reason that would just make all the other layers of resin I poured move, but no, obviously not. you are still here with me watching I am very very grateful to you and if you have not subscribed yet please think about subscribing so you will get notified when my next video comes out and we fix this gigantic mess together can't believe I'm pouring more resin this is so embarrassing but like I said I'm not gonna edit this kind of stuff out if I make this big embarrassing mess um, I'm gonna show you And not only am I burning my resin, I mean, my resin has been sitting out for almost an hour, so it's pretty much non-workable at this point. If you look in the center of the ocean, see how it's getting all gummy? Yeah, this is disgusting. This is a huge, sticky, gooey mess. I just don't know when to stop, do I? <laughs> 